Yo, what's going on people? It's the one and only. Today I have a fantastic video for you. This is the iPhone battery drain test. We're going to look at the iPhone 7, the 8, the 10, the 10R, the 10S, the 10S Max, just so many iPhones to look at. So grab some snacks, grab a drink because this one's going to be a good one. Let's dive right in. It's the kind of beat the gold. Yo guys, this is a real special video that I wanted to make. On Instagram, I polled you guys whether you wanted to see the MacBook Air versus the battery drain test. And it was a very close contest, but the MacBook Air won out, so that video got up first. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so now because I'll be doing these kind of polls regularly to try to see what videos you guys want to do. So jumping right in this took me forever to put out not only did i have to record for about seven and a half hours but i also made some expert graphs for you guys made sure every single setting was the same all of these phones are going to run the same ios software and everything is identical down to the app placement on the home screen that's how dedicated i was so it took me forever because i wanted this to be a fair contest from right to left we're going to have the iphone 7 plus then the 8 plus then the 10 10r 10s and 10s max and it's important to know that the battery size is going to play a key factor here the iPhone 7 is going to sport a 2900 milliamp hour battery, the iPhone 8 Plus 2675, the iPhone 10 2658, iPhone 10R 2942 milliamp hour battery, 10S 2658 milliamp hour battery, and then finally the big boy, the 10S Max 3174. Before you do anything else and before we dive right in, stop and pause this video and comment down below which phone you think is going to win. The results may surprise you. Let's go ahead and start out this contest. Round one. What I decided to do is turn on the flashlight on all of these phones and run three Geekbench scores. That's going to put a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on the processor. So that's going to make the phones really undergo a lot of processing power. So I went ahead and did that and let's see what happens after the three Geekbench scores. All right, so we're done with our first test. Round one is over, so let's see how these phones are doing. So really, the iPhone XS Max is the real hero here. It did not give up whatsoever. As a matter of fact, your iPhone XS Max after that test still had 98% remaining. XS had 98 as well. 10R 95%. That surprised me. The 10 had 98, iPhone 8 Plus had 98, and the iPhone 7 Plus had 99. Let's jump right in into our second test. So I went ahead and ran the BBC app open for 30 minutes with the flashlight. So this is gonna simulate some real world performance, some real world interactions with your phone as a lot of us are gonna use our phones on like say Twitter, Instagram, you know, just scrolling through newsfeed. So I thought that was a really good test to run. After the flashlight and BBC app was up, we're down to iPhone XS Max was at 88, XS at 87, XR at 80, the iPhone X at 87, iPhone 8 Plus at 83, and the iPhone 7 Plus is at 85. So a lot of surprising results. So I went ahead and still ran the BBC app. The only difference is that this time I turned off the flashlight. So let's see what happens this time. And after our third test, after being complete with the BBC app, let's look at the result. The iPhone XS Max is just packing way too heavy of a punch. It had 83% juice remaining after that much time. That's incredible. The iPhone XS down to 82. The one that really suffered for some reason was the iPhone XR. Man, that hit rock bottom to 71%. iPhone 10 82, 8 Plus at 74, and the 7 Plus at 76%. 
that let's move on so this is going to be a 4k 30 frames per second recording and here you can see on all the phones the settings are the same when it comes to your normal recordings so that's 4k 30 frames per second and we're going to do this film on all of them for 10 minutes and see what happens so after 10 minutes, let's see what went down. So the iPhone XS Max is at 78, and I'm just gonna keep running down the list. I'm getting tired of naming all these phones. So starting with the XS Max, 78, 77, 10R is at 64. iPhone 10, 77, 67, and then for the 7 Plus, 68%. Look, ain't no shade here. I don't want anyone to judge, but Coco is hands down my favorite movie of all time. Haters are gonna hate. What I did is I pulled up Coco on all of these phones and we are gonna watch it in its entirety. But I don't want my ass to get copyright striked. So I did put a piece of cardboard over them so that technically, even though I did play the full movie, you can't see the full movie. So I don't even want YouTube to come at me talking about, oh, oh, you, oh, copyright, oh, copyright. Nah, whatever. I covered it. So there you go. But it is a good real world simulation because I know a lot of us watch way too many YouTube videos, way too many movies. Like we gotta, we gotta have a better use of our time to be honest. But anyway, Coco's about to be over. Uh, that was pretty quick when you speed it up 20,000% it seems like. So let's go to our result. Now this is where you're gonna see a considerable drop in most of your phones. 10S Max, 63, 58, 10R at 37, God. iPhone 10, 60. 8 plus 40, 7 plus is also at 40%. Now for the next test, I did run Temple Run 2. What I like about this game is it's the only game that I know of that after you die in the game, it just keeps playing, so it's an endless loop. So let's see how the phones perform. Cool, so after a whole hour and a half of playing some endless games on our phones, we see even more drops. So let's go ahead and take a look. 10S Max, 42. 10S, 37. 10R on its last legs at 6%. iPhone 10R is too gas. Give this phone some water. 10 is at 37, 8 plus is at 8, 7 plus is at 9. So now we're nearing the end of the battery lives for all of these phones, except the 10S Max. I don't know, man. This phone is on some roids. Someone please stop Brock Lesnar. Okay, so anyway, this next test is going to be a YouTube test. So if you ever need to watch eight hours of a nature video, they're out on YouTube. I don't know why, but they're out there. So I played these videos just endlessly until something happened. And here is actually when some phones are going to die. There it is. Our first phone that died was surprisingly the iPhone 8. iPhone 8 Plus only lasted four hours and 59 minutes with the screen time in this test. Now that is a considerable amount still, but regardless, it was the first one to go. Shortly after that, minutes after that, we're gonna have the iPhone 7 Plus, which total time was five hours and three minutes in the test. Then the iPhone 10R died as well. So after that phone died, I was surprised it actually picked up the pace a little bit. It was trailing behind all of the phones through the entirety of the test, but it actually picked up some slack and died at five hours and nine minutes. So finally, after this test, what we have is that the iPhone XS Max is still Gucci. It's gravy as hell. It's just chilling. It's at 31%, followed by its little brother, the XS at 28. And falling not too behind those is the iPhone 10 at 26%. It's crazy how these OLED phones are just able to maintain such a strong battery. By this time, I was tired. You know, I really wanted this test to be over, so I kicked it into overdrive. Flashlights are up to max brightness, and we're going to go back to Temple Run and see what happens this time. And so at this point, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call this a test. I just kind of checked on them. Um, I was really tired. I was wondering when these phones are just going to die. At this point in the video, iPhone XS Max still chilling hard 
at a healthy 19%. The iPhone 10s is at 15% and its distant cousin, the iPhone 10, is at 12%. Let's continue. If you voted for one of these phones, congratulations, they're in the top three. And just like that, the iPhone 10 goes dark. It ceases, it could not go anymore. It had to breathe some air. Coming in at six hours and 44 minutes, really impressive. And just following that, five minutes later, the iPhone 10s just calls it quits as well. It just taps out. And it isn't until seven hours and five minutes that the big boy iPhone 10s Max finally calls it quits as well. So if this surprised you, it surprised me as well. I was expecting the iPhone 10R to just outperform all of them. That's what Apple's website says. And believe it or not, I did this test twice because I was just surprised that the iPhone 10R was draining so fast. What I did is I went ahead and restored it one more time to see if it would make any of the difference. And then I also just revisited all the settings and made sure everything matched precisely to the other phones and it did so I wonder what was going on with the iPhone 10R I wonder if just the LCD phones are just not up to par to the OLED phones I don't know exactly but there you go guys the iPhone 8 Plus was the first to go surprising but it kind of makes sense since technically it has a smaller battery so it does make sense at the time of its release it was optimized for the current operating system but now a couple years later to ios 12 now there's a different story but anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video it really did take me forever to get it out if this is your first time to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because content like this is sure to come in the future as a matter of fact what i like to do is release about five or six videos a month so with that being said, real world activity is going to differ person to person. So although these are extreme cases, everyone is going to use their phone slightly different. So do keep that in mind. I really hope you guys are enjoying my content because I love putting this content out for you guys. And with that being said, catch you guys in the next one.